The name of the Lord is holy. Can you give him a shout of praise? Hallelujah. Put your hands together for our God, our King, Osana, immortal, invisible, the only wise come, the one who sits high and looks low. If you come to praise Jesus, lift them a shout, lift them a praise with a clapping of your hands. Celebrate the name of our King. Somebody scream the name of Jesus. The only wise God, we praise you. Say, the angels, the angels bow down at the door of you. Come on, the darkness is great to the light. Of you. The prices you pay. The Testify, you are good. Hey, you are good, Jehovah. You are good. CCP testifies, you are good. You are good, you are good, Jehovah. You are good. Hey, everybody testify, you are good. You are so, so, so good. You are good. Hey, everybody testify, you are good. Come on, you are good, Jehovah. You are good. Let's call him Madeline and Nancy. Somebody scream! You are bigger than what people say, and forever you will be my God. Hey, you are bigger than what people say. Hi, and forever you will be. You are bigger than what people say. And 
forever and forever you will be my God. Pick, 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 pick. You are bigger than what people say. And forever, and forever you will be my God. You too, they bless me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Not so you love me. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. You too, they bless me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Not so you love me. Ooh, Everybody. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Eat him, eat him, eat him, eat him, eat him, eat him, eat him. Let me see you give your Lord a dance. One more time. Give him a Somebody go down low, go down. I know who God says I am. What he says I am. Where he says I'm at, I know. Let me say. I know who God says I am. Everybody. What he says I am. Come on. Where he says I'm at, I know. I know who God. I know who God says I am. What he says I am. Where he says I'm at. I can't hear you. I know. One more time. I know. I know who God says I am. Declare it. Declare it. Yeah. Where he says I am. Somebody say. I know. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in power. Hey. I know who I am. I I'm walking in. I'm walking in power. Somebody. I'm walking in miracles. I live a life of faith. Woo! Everybody say that. Oh. Lift your praise up. Oh. I know who I am. I Everybody praise the Lord. Oh oh oh. 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 Hey. I know who I am. Get the neighbor say. Take a look at me. I'm a wonder. It doesn't matter what you see now. I can see his glory, cause I know who I am. Take a look at me, I'm a wonder. You say it doesn't matter what you see. I can see. I know. Take a look at me. Come on. Look at me, my neighbor. I'm a reflection of the glory. Take a look at me. Come on. Somebody give the Lord a scream. Now talk to your neighbor, talk to your neighbor. If you believe that our God is good, tell your neighbor, say, my God is good. Say, my God is good, good, good. Say, my God is good. My God is good. My God is good. My, my, my God is good. My, 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 my. God is good. Hey, your God is good. Hey, your God is good. Your God is good. Oh, we go praise, we go praise our God. We go praise, we go praise our God. We go pray, 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 praise our God. We go praise, we go praise our God. I go tell him my daddy. I go tell him my mommy. I go tell him my mommy. I go tell him my friends too. I go tell him my pastor. That I serve a big God. That I serve a big God. Oh yeah, He's seated in heaven. Makes the earth his footstool. In the very, very big, big God. 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 Oh yeah, my God, now I give it back. Hey, I get it back. Hey, I get it back. Oh yeah, I get it back. My God, I get it back. 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 It's the S S S S endless S S S S Everybody say S S S S endless S S My God, I get it back. Hey, I get it back. I get it, get it, get it. 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 Say, we go praise, we go praise our God. We go praise, we go praise our God. We go pray, 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 pray. We go praise Him, my God. Oh. We go praise, we go praise our God. My God, I give it back. Oh yeah, I give it back. My God, I give it good. My God, I give it good. My God, I give it back. My God, I give it back. My God, I give it back. Hey, I give it back. It's the X X X S endless S for life. Everybody say. 
shout, we go shout, we go shout it for joy. We go shout, we go shout. Somebody give Jesus your shout. I want to see you move like this. To the right, come on. To the left, let's go. To the left. We go praise, we go praise our God. We go praise, we go praise our God. We go shout, we go shout it for joy. We go shout, we go shout it for joy. My God is good. Yes, he good. My God is good. Yes, he good. My God is good. My 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 God is good. 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 So I go tell him my neighbors. I go tell him my daddy. I go tell him my mommy. I go tell him my best friend. I go tell him my enemies. My God is good. My God is good. My my God is good. Your God is good. Your God is good. Your God is good. Your God is good. Is it X X X S endless S Dala? Everybody say. My God, I get it back. My God, I get it back. I get it, get it, get it. 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 We go shout, we go shout, we go shout, we go shout. Somebody keep the word, oh shout. Pavelo's heart for joy. Let your gratitude rise. Let it rise unto the Lord. Wherever you are, let it rise. Let it rise. Let it rise. Give God thanks. Indeed, we have a big God. Indeed, we have a mighty God. Indeed, we have a big God. Let your gratitude rise to the Lord this morning. Wherever you are, wherever you are connected to this grace, let your gratitude rise. Lift up your gratitude to the Lord. Don't be quiet this moment. Lift up your gratitude to the Lord. Don't be quiet this moment. Raise an altar of thanksgiving. Raise an altar of gratitude. Raise an altar of gratitude. Let it come before the Lord. As a sweet smelling sabo, let it come before the Lord. As a sweet smelling sabo, let your gratitude rise. Let your gratitude rise. Let your gratitude rise. In Jesus' name, we we'll give thanks. Amen. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 19, NKJV. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west. And his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy comes like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. Declare with this scripture in your spirit. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare and I declare that by the spirit of the Lord, every activity spares of the adversaries are destroyed over my life and destiny in the name of Jesus add some power to those words add power to it let it come from your within with power let it come from your within with power Father we decree now we declare that by the spirit of the Lord every activity of hell every spell of the adversary that destroyed over my life and over my destiny in the name of Jesus I decree this day every synonym of hell over my life is destroyed every activity of hell over my life is put to end in the name of Jesus no more no more every activity 
gates of hell is destroyed, is terminated in the name of Jesus. Every space of the adversaries over my destiny is destroyed in this service in the name of Jesus. By the reason of the deluge of the grace of God, every space and every activity of hell is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Is destroyed. Vai ada basso celere ge don shatara da da. Inga vai ada balaga rosa. Rada da da basso celere ge dos. Leka vai ada balaga rosa. Randa basso teya. Ika vai ada balaros. E rada da 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 basso celere ge rosa. E randa balaga rosa. Leko shataya da. Inba rada basso celere ge rosa. Inka baya da balarosa, leko shatayara, rada da 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 bazote, ezita ya da balaros, le de 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 de, rada da 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 balarosa, inka baya da balagaros, ma rada da da da, ma sote le le gerosa, inba rada ka balarosa, le ke de o shatayara, ira da bazote, le ke de balarosa, ma rada balaros. Le kabaya dosha, inka balagarosha, rada da da da. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Micah two verse thirteen and KJV. The one who breaks open will come up before them. They will break out, pass through the gate, and go out by it. Their king will pass before them with the Lord at their head. Hallelujah! Raise your right hand and declare with me, Father, in the name of Jesus, I boldly declare that the Lord. Ahead of me, therefore, I experience speed in my life and am accepted and divinely honored in the name of Jesus. Turn that to power, Father, in the name of Jesus. I boldly declare that the Lord goes ahead of me, therefore, I experience speed in my life and am accepted and divinely honored in the name of Jesus. I am divinely honored in the name of Jesus. Our prayers are not complete without thanksgiving, but I will give you praise. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Positioning yourself to receive deliveries of wealth and riches. People work and collect salary but they are still frustrated. People work in oil and gas and they still don't have what to do. I mean, what to show for the money because there is a spiritual yoke choking the prosperity they claim that they have. It's called the mystery of financial favor. People survive by cooperative loans. Let them not deceive you. If it is not cooperative loan, many are collecting back loans. So some of the riches and wealth that people flaunt about, they are not supernaturally engineered. They are Babylonian. They are Babylon induced. They are not supernaturally provoked. They are Babylonian Jericho, I mean, Jericho system induced. I'm talking about a dimension of grace that what cooperative will give you as a loan, great gives you as a bonus. I've dropped deep and I've traced I have found there are two dimensions dimensional sources to wealth either the covenants or Babylon and the last time I checked it kept me here and it kept me in that Babylonian system that by the time my time is over I should be able to let the world know there is nothing in Babylonian system you are seeking to be a slave in you got to subscribe to the supernatural covenant system that can deliver riches and wealth in supernatural dimension into you meaning what labor cannot procure favor will deliver in cooperative system you pay back in four years what favor deliver as a covenant bonus in a day I'm not against teaching I mean against diligence I'm not telling you to be lazy I'm not asking you not to invest but I want your mind to be fixed on the covenant not on Babylon CCP Global Partnership spreading the gospel with us it's the global network of CCP partners pushing the CCP vision with their substance finance and resources 
There is more to be done. The kingdom is enlisting, there are more grounds to conquer, more nations to conquer, more territories to take over. The kingdom needs soldiers. Be a part of this unstoppable move. Join the CCP Global Partners Network. Be a part of this ongoing projects. 1. Paradigm Shift Broadcast. 2. Network 58. 3. Kingdom Advancement Evangelism. 4. Membership Care and Welfare. 5. Next Generation. 6. Membership Transport Mobilization. 7. General Church Projects. 8. Energy and Power Supply. To know more and to become a partner, please send an email to ccpglobalpartnership at gmail.com. Partnership Account, The Covenant Christian Pavilion, Zenith Bank PLC, Account Number, 10120941468, Sort Code, 057-240091, Swift Code, ZEIBNGLA. Great things happen when you partner with God, become a CCP Global Partner today, we celebrate you. CCP Global. We are thrilled that you have decided to join us today and become part of our vision, which is birthing mental transformation in human minds and helping them celebrate who they are in Christ Jesus. Our church is founded on the mission of helping men and women discover their worth and developing a new mindset in them through the application of biblical principles and truth. Our core value is LEAD. L stands for love, E stands for excellence. A stands for accountability and D stands for development. Our church is a place where people from all walks of life can come together to worship, connect, and grow spiritually. We believe that God's love is for everyone, regardless of their background, tribe, or circumstances. As a church, we are committed to serving our community and making a positive impact in the lives of those around us. We regularly organize outreach programs such as Network 58, donating food items and clothing to help those in need and using such a platform to spread the love of Jesus. Our pastors are dedicated to creating a welcoming environment for all who attend our services. They are passionate about sharing the message of God's love and making a difference in the lives of our all members. Every service in CCP Global is extraordinary. Therefore never miss any. We believe that being part of our church is essential for your spiritual growth and support. We encourage you to give us three months of your time and we assure you that your life will never remain the same. Thank you for choosing to worship with us today. We hope that you experience the love of God in our midst and are inspired to join us on this journey of faith. We celebrate you. Praise God Almighty. Hallelujah. He has been faithful. If he has been faithful to you, celebrate his holy name. Glory. If you're a CCP Global member, you're connected to this grace. God has been faithful to us back to back. From the just concluded seven days of glory, we had another edition of Peace Up yesterday, and we had one last Saturday. Please celebrate God. Hallelujah. Indeed, God is reaching out to men via this vision, and we can't be quiet about that. In one avalanche of faith, raise your voice and give God thanks. Okay. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. You can have, before you have your seats, please help me celebrate my world class friends, my dad and my mom, the vessel whom God is using to dispense this grace, the embodiment of this vision. Celebrate better. Hallelujah. You can have your seat. It's a time for praise reports. It's a time where you have to exercise your faith. It's a time where you open up your heart to connect. Tell your neighbor your next line. Tell your neighbor it's your season and it's your time to flourish on every side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have a praise report here from my brother, Augustine Awekaro, titled, How God Healed Me from Chronic Waste Pain. Hallelujah. He joined this church in the month of March as he was invited by Mr. Matthew Obinna. Before the seven days of glory, he was having persistent waste pain for two weeks. He had taken different drugs, but none seems to work. He had plans to go for medical checkup because he was finding it difficult to work. Due to the waist pain, he absolutely couldn't do anything, both at home and at work. He couldn't attend the grand finale of the seven days of glory due to his work schedule. 
But after the service, he collected some of the anointing oil from Mr. Matthew in the office on the 9th of August, being Wednesday. Praise God. Church, he's back with his miraculous praise report. He applied the anointing oil on his body after taking his bath that night. Before he woke up in the morning, the pains were totally gone. Hallelujah. He is totally healed. He didn't let anyone know of his healing till on Sunday because he wanted to be very sure that he couldn't feel the pain until date. The pains are no more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Church, give the Lord a victorious shout of praise. Someone shouts, I'm next in line for a miracle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Celebrate God for that praise report once again. This other praise report is coming from Sister Akiwumi Mofiye Oluwa. She's a student of the Delta State College of Nursing, formerly known as the School of Nursing Worry. She joined CCP Global about three years ago, and God has indeed been faithful to her. Celebrate God for her. She says since she got admission into the school, God has been faithful. She says she is in her finance and she needed to write her final exam. She said she came to church a Saturday before that week to clean because she belongs to the sanctuary department. She said that very Saturday she met with mom and she spoke to mom. Mom asked her about the school and she also met with dad and informed dad about her plans to travel for an exam because this exam will be a pre-qualification exam for her. This will determine if she writes the nursing council exam, which is her final professional exam to make her a registered nurse. He said the Saturday before she traveled, she met dad and dad spoke words. Dad said to her that the purpose of her traveling is a success already. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said dad prayed with her and dad counseled every evil that may come up on our trip hallelujah. hallelujah fast forward to our journey she said she traveled the following week she said she arrived at her destination safely by the grace of god she said but on our way coming the enemy decided to strike hallelujah she said just before they got to Eku, they saw an empty bus on the way and they noticed that the policemen were following them behind said the police told them to stop that the vehicle they just saw that was empty that the kidnappers had just attacked that vehicle and every passenger in that vehicle were taken off to the glory of the lord she was preserved because if they had gotten there much earlier maybe they would have been the victim but because the word has gone forth from our senior pastor because our dad has spoken word concerning our life and concerning that trip she was preserved hallelujah she said, on getting to a coup again, while returning, they saw people running and they were told that arm robbers just operated. Can you remember the words of our senior pastor over this commission? That if it remains a second for enemy to prevail, that the grace and the mercy of God will step in. And that is not enough. Our father still speak over our life that you will be late for tragedy and you will be on time for the goodness of God. This is the evidence of that. Hallelujah. She said, they said robbers just finished robbing. So she was late for tragedy. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor you'll be late for tragedy. According to the grace upon this commission, you'll be late for tragedy. Now she is back with her praise report to celebrate God for her life. That indeed God saved her life from kidnapping. And as if that was not enough, God also saved her life from arm robbery case by the virtue of the prophetic declaration that has come forth from our senior pastor. I want you to rise to your feet this moment and connect to this world. Say whatever prophecy from our man of God hanging over my life will find fulfillment in the name of Jesus. Celebrate God for this praise report. Hallelujah. Praise God. May all have your seat. I have another praise report here from Chine Doom Ifani Chiku, titled Saved from Accident. Hallelujah. He wants to thank God for everything. As dad will always say, that he's a man helped by God. He said that word had been speaking for him all round. He joined CCP as a serving core member back in 2021 
and since then up to date, God has indeed been his helper. He embarked on a trip that took him from Wari to Port Harcourt and Eket. And on his way back to Wari, the vehicle he was in lost its brakes. And God Almighty, that has helped our set man of God, came true for him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That same grace spoke for him in that situation. He said they drove into the bush and the car stopped on its own. He said they all came out unscratched, nothing missing, nothing broken. The car came to a complete halt, a stone threw from Patani Bridge. He is so grateful to God Almighty for his safety and protection. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Church, give the Lord a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Please rise to your feet wherever you are at this auditorium. And if you're connected online, speak to yourself that I'm next in line for a praise report. My case will not be different. Uh, my face will be shown on the screen. Uh, I will be the next testimony to be shared. Uh, I want you to declare this word over your life. That men, uh, we envy my senior pastors by virtue of the results uh, and the testimonies uh, in my life. Uh, declare those words over your life in one minute. Uh, men, we have the grace uh, upon our pastors uh, by virtue of the results and by virtue of the testimonies uh, in our lives uh, in Jesus uh, we pray by virtue of the grace of God upon this commission uh, standing on the grace of our senior pastor I declare by your life that you be the next to testify Amen. and your testimony will shake the earth Amen. it will be a legendary testimony Amen. give the Lord some shout in the house Amen. give the Lord your praise Lord. hallelujah Put your hand, go walk. Your name, go open doors. Amen. You self, go be a boss. Amen. 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 Everything you put your hand, go walk. Your name, go open doors. Amen. You self, go be a boss. Amen. 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 Every hustler getting paid. Where the hustle go, come the pay. Your own in no go take. Right now, but you get moving, and now you've been the real. 
yesterday was, our, was the second phase of our um, pizza. Let's celebrate the Lord. So you are wondering what's pizza? What's mega HDC? In one minute, I will explain to us. So in CCP Global, we have a class called the Spiritual Development Class. That is the SDC. That is a class. If you have not attended that class, I think you are really, really missing. One of the videos we see sometimes in that class is a video how um, a wicked nanny maltreated a baby. Many of you will have seen it when it was trending some years ago on social media. Can I have a witness to that? A wicked nanny was maltreating a little baby, throwing the baby on the floor because it, he was a baby. She was the nanny and that was the baby. That was the owner of the house, but he was in a baby form. Many of us are still in a baby childish form in life. And the way the, the wicked nanny maltreated the baby is the way the enemy is maltreating some Christians because they are still babies and the Bible told us in Galatians 4 1 that as long as the hair remains a baby that he's not different from a slave so in that class we teach you some things the models are powerful and you can't afford I mean you should be part of it if you are a member of this church you should make sure we hold it every every Monday but well, yesterday was a mega one which means we compress all the models together let's celebrate the Lord and what really did it for everyone? Because people were wondering, what's going on here? <laughs> Don't you guys have decorums and etiquette and all of those things? Finesse? We do have all of that. But when God wants to move, he moves in the way you can't even explain. People were delivered. People, that were, people whose parents, whose, whose life and family have been in the, in, the, in the hold of demonic oppression. They came here and they were delivered. That's why they were on the floor. They also didn't push them. It was the Holy Ghost that did his work. And we are so blessed. What, a lot is going on in Mississippi. Then what does Peace Up? Peace Up is called, is a pavilion skill acquisition program. It's a program where we, that we organize, where we teach people skills for free. Skills that they can really grasp basically in one day. And skills that they can start with a little startup capital. Let's celebrate the Lord. So we have it every now and then. This year's edition was um, the other Saturday, not yesterday. And people, we had so many people in different classes, as you saw in the first video. Just to let you know that God is doing a lot in your church. And we are glad to have you in CCP Global, in the life of our church. It's a privilege. And there is a reason God brought you to this church. It's not because God just wanted to throw you. There's a particular reason why God ensured that Pastor Emi Oludele is your spiritual father. Let's celebrate the Lord. That is a particular reason. Don't ever think it's just like one of those things. It's not. It is for a specific reason. And please don't miss the moment. Don't miss the reason for which God has brought you into this house in this kind of a time. I'm so excited that God is doing a lot. Next week, Saturday, we're going to have the phase three of the PISA program. Because during the program, it's going to end up in an empowerment where we are giving people empowerment in form of cash or the materials that they need to start up the businesses that they learned the other Saturday. Let's celebrate the Lord. Are you not excited about that? God is doing a lot. We had souls saved. The first Saturday, we had so many souls. Yesterday, we had so many souls saved. People came out. I'm like, what? I thought they, some, I mean, they just came out. It was a lot of people. And then... People, people needed to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit by speaking in tongues. And that was what happened here. Yeah. People were just speaking. People that were coming from wherever, God just took over. They didn't know when they started speaking in tongues and all that. Because when the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty in the Spirit. And I'm so glad to let you know that this is what's happening in the life of our church. How can you be a part? Yes, you can be a part by making sure you attend. Attend the programs. And you can be a part financially. In those programs, we give refreshment. And just to let you know, in every service in CCP Global, we ensure that we feed people. We feed people who may hungry, or we feed people every service. Make sure that you are part of what is happening in CCP Global. Be a part of it. Why not? Don't sit aloof. Your money will do a lot. Your partnership will do a lot. And I know that God will bless you as you do that in Jesus' name. Can you rise up on your feet? Tell your neighbor, a lot is happening in CCP Global. And I'm glad to be part of it. Tell anybody, a lot is happening in CCP Global. Make sure you are part of it. Can we celebrate the Lord and give him praise as we take our seat? Bless you, Jesus. The Bible says it's not by our mind, not by power, but by the Spirit, says the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your spirit. And Lord, we stand in all of you. Thank you, Jesus. Not by mind, not by power, 
voice of gratitude to the Lord this morning will you give him thanks and praise wow throw your hands in the atmosphere and give him praise my God can you join me to give God thanks this morning come on Jehovah Stop it. 
to the Lord this morning he is our Jehovah Jireh Lord we are so grateful you are indeed our provider we give you worship this morning will you throw your hands into the atmosphere and bless his name awesome presence of the Lord I see it. I feel it. Testimonies. Testimonies are everywhere. I come on, come in. Lift your two hands. I see it. And I feel it. I feel it. Oh, testimonies. Testimonies are everywhere. Say, I see it. I see it. Oh, I feel it. Everybody say, Testimonies, testimonies are everywhere. Come on, I'm in the middle of it. 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 Oh, do you believe it? I'm in the middle of it. You are in the middle of it. Jesus, I declare and I declare, it's my turn to testify. I must testify. Raise your voice and declare in two minutes. It's my turn to testify. I must testify. Raise your voice to the Lord. 
I'm in the middle of testimony. I must testify. It's my turn to testify. In two minutes, raise your voice to heaven. I receive my own testimony. And I testify of the wonders of God. Open your mouth and begin to declare. I'm in the middle of testimonies. It's my turn to testify. I must testify. Come on. I don't know whether you are feeling the anointing here. You are next to testify. Come on, like never before. Que prando surahila, eke riba. Can you declare? I must testify in all areas of my life. I must testify in my finance, in my career, in my marriage, in my family, in my business. I must testify. I am in the middle of testimony. I am in the middle of testimony. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I must testify. Can you walk it by faith? My God. Come on! Oh, le le lo, le le lo. I must testify. You are the next to testify. Can you press it in the spirit? I tap into the power of the Holy Ghost to testify. I must touch some more. I must testify. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, anything position around my life to stop me from testifying, I come against you in the name of Jesus. Raise your voice to heaven. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, anything position around my life to stop me from testifying, I come against you in the name of the Lord. Any barrier, any resistance to stop me from testifying, I come against you today. Raise your voices to heaven. Whatever the enemy has positioned around my life to stop my life from experiencing testimonies, I come against you right now. In the name of Jesus, raise your voices to heaven as you pray. Whatever I've been positioned around my life to stop me from sharing my testimony, anything that I've been positioned to stop my testimony, I have to today and I command it to be scattered in the name of the Lord Jesus. Whatever is sabotaging, whatever is hindering my testimonies from manifesting, be scattered. If you can pray, raise your voice. Whatever I be positioned around my life, sabotaging my testimony, injuring my testimonies from manifesting, I command it today. Be scattered. That is a prayer right there. Raise your voice to heaven. Anything positioned, sabotaging my effort, my labor, injuring my result, injuring my testimonies from manifesting. I come against you. Raise your voices to heaven. Come on. You will bear result. You will share your testimonies. Whatever is sabotaging, injuring my testimony from coming out, from finding expression today. Be thou scattered. Open your mouth and pray. Whatever is entering your miracles, whatever is entering your next level, whatever is entering your open doors, whatever is entering your miracle jobs, can you command them to be scattered? Press, press, press in prayers. Anything, whatever. Sabotaging my labor. You have been working so hard. Yet little resort. You have been laboring so hard. Yet little resort. 
today under this open heaven whatever is sabotaging Andrew my testimonies from showing forth may that scatter in the name of raise your voices to heaven now are you sure you are praying whatever is entering it heaven has released it but the enemy wants to stop it the Lord has dispatched it they don't want it to be delivered no whatever is sabotaging my effort and my resort in the name of Jesus be scattered raise your voices as we pray come on pray 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 heaven has dispatched it heaven has released it but the enemy wants to hinder it open your mouth say no open your mouth and pray I must testify I must share my resort I must testify I give you one more minute this morning all over the world whatever is yours is delivered your miracle is delivered your favor is delivered your next level is delivered your doors are opened in the name of jesus your opportunities are delivered right now come on pray 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 my wife conceives my wife gives back i receive a miracle job i am the heel of the lord i enjoy favor can you press it in two more minutes Lift up your two hands to heaven. I decree over your life, you will testify. In Jesus' name, you may be seated in the presence of the Power for a struggle free life. Look at your neighbor and say, Neighbor, you will live a struggle free life. A few minutes this morning as we continue our series on flourishing on every side I want to share with you power for a struggle free life tell you about it's possible to live a struggle free life when I say struggle free life it could be your marriage it could be your career a struggle free living in every aspect of your life Luke chapter 5 this morning is where I'm starting from. Power for a struggle-free life. If there is anyone under the sound of my voice experiencing any form of struggle in your life, you shall be delivered in the name of Jesus. Power for a struggle-free life. After today, you will no longer struggle. Now you may stand on one leg. Can you hear me, Professor? Your neighbor say, neighbor, neighbor, you are the next to testify. You will enjoy God like never before. Hallelujah. In Luke chapter 5, verse 1, God wants us to enjoy a struggle free existence. But why do people struggle in life? You can't talk about flourishing without breaking it down. God wants you and I to flourish on every side. And as I began to pray, and the Lord said, if you are going to flourish, I don't have a program of struggling for you. In Luke chapter 5 and verse 1, and it came to pass that as the people pressed to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Genesaret, verse 2, and saw two sheep standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them. And they were washing their nets. In other words, they were tired. You don't know what it is to have a business, God forbid. And by the time you are closing, no patronage. Have you been there before? You have a supermarket. And nobody showed up till your closing time. And you are closing your door. Let's go home, guys. See, that will not be your testimony. And saw two sheep standing by the lake. 
But the fishermen were gone out of the ships or the boats and they were washing their nets. They were tired for the day. Let's run. Verse 3. And he entered into one of the ships or the boats which belonged to Simon and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the boat or the ship that belonged to Simon. Verse number 4. Now, when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drought. Look at the rest of verse 5. And I'm going to stay there in a few minutes. And Simon answering and said unto him, but remember what happened in verse 2. Master, we have toiled all night and we have taken nothing. That was the reason why they were washing their nets and were about to go home. Master, we have been walking and walking for no result. Master, you don't understand. The same river you are asking me to cast my net is the same river that I've been fishing all day, but I caught nothing. Hear me, the people of God, the same business that did not produce result will produce result after now. That am I standing on one leg. In the same place, in the same location, where nobody celebrated you after this encounter this morning, you will be celebrated. It was not another river. It was the same river where they fished and they caught nothing. It was the same place. Let's finish the narrative so that I go into the world. Nevertheless, at thy word, nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the night. Verse 6, now let's roll. Look at what happened. And when they had, and when they had this done, give me good English. <laughs> Glory to God. New King James translation. And when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their net was breaking. Tell you about power for a struggle for your life. In the next few minutes, I'm going to be sharing with you biblical principles that guarantee a struggle free life. The same thing that did not work will work. It's so interesting to read that every struggle is traceable to lack of discovered secret. Please write it down. Every struggle is traceable to lack of discovered secret. In other words, when you see somebody struggling in an area, or she has not discovered. Lack of a discovered secret. You don't have the key to a door and be banging the door. No. You have the key in your hands. All you need to do is to introduce the key and you open any door. So any area of your life where you experience a toiling or a struggling is as a result of a secret that has not been discovered. Hear me this morning. It could be in your finance. It could be in your career. It could be in any area of your life, your marriage, where you are experiencing what looks like a struggling. This Sunday morning, a secret will be delivered to you. God will give you a key that will turn things loose in your life. I was sharing with the CEO, sorry, the, the director of Vital Fruity Conglomerate. And he was sharing with me about the wonders of God in the brown. And I said, I have no problem with you anymore. As far as I'm concerned, your case is not on my list anymore. I'm trusting the Lord to reproduce the same grace in many others who will discover the secret to entrepreneurial success. Is that not what I said in the car today? In other words, there are secrets you will discover that will make the journey so smooth. While others are shouting that is a casting down, you are expressing, Kilo Day, I don't understand what you are saying because God gave you the ability to access what it takes to have a smooth ride. Let me also use this illustration quickly. Have you ever seen somebody who ignited a car? Everything about the car is good. Then you started the vehicle, you ignited it, and the car started. Can the car move because you started the vehicle? Come and talk to me. You put on the air lamps, isn't it? What do you think will make the vehicle that will be ignited to move? If they put the gear in P, which, is, which means what? Park. The car still will not move. There is something they call R, isn't it? If you engage the R, what happens to the car? It starts moving backward. There is something they wrote as D. Until you put that thing on D, that car will never move. 
That is what happens. Some people have everything working together, but they've not discovered how the key thing that will make the vehicle of their life to be in motion, which is to engage the deed that is called drive. Listen closely. You are beautiful, baby. You are handsome, young man. You, young man, you went to school. I'm not against that. But there are secrets you have to discover that will put your life in unending motion. Power for a struggle-free life. Oh, they told you go to go to school and study a good degree. Now you study chemical engineering, but you are jobless. Now maybe you are not jobless, but you are don't you don't have requisite financial empowerment to meet all your needs. So you are asking a question: If going to school is what it takes for somebody to succeed in life, at least I've gone to school, I got a good degree, but yet I'm not enjoying the life. Every struggle is a product of a secret that has not been discovered. In the name of Jesus. God will help you to put on the activation switch for a flourishing life. I wanted to title this activation switch for a flourishing life. Hmm. What controls the light in the hall? Just a small switch. If you look at the switch and you press off, what happens to the light? The light goes off. And at the same time, wherever there is darkness, what do you do to the switch? You put on the switch. You put it on on. And the light comes up. There is such thing as biblical switch to press to activate flourishing in your life. That is what I want to teach. Including fruit of the womb. Including putting food on your table. Including breaking through on every side. There is a secret. There is a button. There is a switch that we need to activate for a flourishing existence. Let's build up this morning. Struggling is never God's will for anyone. Struggling is never God's will for you. So wherever you got it from, I can't explain. Struggling is never God's will for you. If there is anything that is God's will, it, flourishing is in God's agenda for you. In Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18, the Bible says, but the path of the just is at the shiny. Like Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18. If you study your Bible closely, you realize that struggling or a life of struggle is not God's agenda for me. So when I struggle, I know something is missing. I can't have a rich father and poor. Even at my little life, I don't want my kids to suffer. How much more you're worthy? The wealthiest God. Not the wealthiest God. The only wealthy God. I've been nobody like him. Who get money past God? So not the wealthiest God. The only wealthy God. The one who says that the cat is upon a thousand hills. I what? The one who says the gold and the silver, they are mine. So I can't be a child of the only wealthy God and live as a pauper. There must be something wrong. You can't be from a royal family and be living like a pauper. No, royalty is already in your inheritance. So you are meant to enjoy. When you see a child of God that is struggling, something is missing. Proverbs to the 4 verse 18. God wants your life to be progressive in nature. He wants you to keep moving. He wants you to keep moving from glory to glory. Genesis 26 verse number 13. Please run with me quickly this morning. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, God doesn't want you to struggle. So tell your neighbor, if you are struggling now, that is not the will of God for you. He wants you to enjoy a life of peace, a life of joy, a life that is filled with pleasant surprises. Hallelujah. I saw the story of a man. His name is Isaac. Oh, I love this so much because I'm believing God that will be my testimony. Say amen. amen. I will not just succeed for a season. I will succeed till I die. I will prosper till I die. Oh, God, sir. Not at 62, you are broke. At 75, you are beggarly. By the time casket will be slammed on me, it should be recorded that this is one of the wealthiest guys that live. That is the plan of God for your life. Anything outside of this is not a program of God. He says, the man began to prosper. He didn't stop there. He continued prospering until he became very prosperous. I said it on Wednesday, many of you were not around. The word, the word flourish means prosper. The word to flourish means to prosper. So anytime you see, anywhere you see the word prosper in the Bible, you can use it as the word flourish. So permit me to say it this way. The man began to flourish. 
He continued flourishing until he became very flourishing. Is that clear at all? That is the will of God for you. Somebody asked him, is it really possible? Hallelujah. It is a possibility. Isaac began to prosper. He continued prospering until he became very prosperous. I prophesy that will be our testimony. Everything you need, God will give it to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know why this God keeps coming to me because I believe uh, there is nothing anybody can do without a God-given idea because ideas rule the world. So the prayer I pray this is, say, Lord, even as we fast, as we pray, Lord, supply an idea that will make a difference in my life. Because answer to your prayer is an idea. Mm -mm. You just know what to do and you are doing it. He was telling me this morning how people are about to retire. I don't know what to do in their workplace. And it's everywhere. And I told him, I said, see, the former salary system has a way of shutting you inward. They will never allow you to think outward for 35 years. By the before you realize you are 25 years gone into civil service, then you have 10 years to go. Do you want parasite to leave your body? Never delay. You go swallow and wave your hands to God. If you, if you don't understand this, you struggle. Nevertheless, I, I, sometimes I don't like the bitter stuff. Like this thing I take, this green juice. What's the name of your green juice, Dr. B? No, that bitter, bitter leaf juice. If you like taking bitter leaf juice, see me after service. You like taking bitter leaf juice? In order to go organic, not to use synthetic, synthetic drugs, you go for bitter leaf juice. And my wife likes giving me the fresh one, not the one in the fridge. The freshly prepared bitter leaf. They say it contains a lot of phytochemicals. Calabaya. As you are drinking, it never delays. Please sit down. We can go home there. <laughs> never delay. You are drinking it. The thing is doing you never delay. I need to take this. I prophesy this on the morning. It may not be palatable, but nevertheless. Let's run into God's word in a few minutes. Hallelujah. This morning, I present to you one of the keys to provoking power for a struggle-free life is what we call the law of stewardship. Service unto God is my simple deliberation in a few minutes. Sir, you must be willing to serve the Lord. Nevertheless, I don't feel like serving. I'm too big. I know, but sir, I will show you today that service to God is one of the requisite revelations that can provoke power for a struggle for life. And I will prove it to you in a few minutes. Luke chapter 1. I don't know who needs this smile, but pay attention. You, you think I'm going to use one powerful pill? This is what the Lord said that you share. Now, you have faith. But you are not engaging this law. Watch this. Still worship. Luke chapter 1 verse 5 downward. I read the story of a religious man. That blessed me so much. And I want to use it. Your service to God provoked supernatural ingredients. For a blessed flourishing life. Hmm. Are you there? Good. There was a man. There was in the days of Herod. The king of Judea. A certain priest named Zacharias of the division of Abijah. His wife was of the daughters of Aaron and her name was Elizabeth. The name of the husband is what? Zacharias. And the name of the wife is? Verse number 6. We are running to 13 quickly. Good. And they were both righteous. Come on. Before God. They were even walking in all the commandments and ordinances of God. What? Blameless. So these guys are Christians. What did I call them? Believers. They even have some good credentials. Hold on, guy. I'm still suggesting. They were both righteous, meaning they were born again. Two, they were walking in all the commandments and the ordinances of the Lord, blameless. Look at this. The stuff in the verse number seven. I saw something very funny. But they were married. But they had no child because Elizabeth was married. Please sit back now. I'm delivering, nevertheless. How can I speak in tongues and I'm still struggling? How can I be a believer who is doing this and this is still happening to me? It's okay. There is something you need to keep engaging plus what you have been doing. Can I have a witness to that? 
But they had no child because Elizabeth was barren and they were both advanced. My goodness, this is a critical case. It was a discouraging situation. Both righteous, walking before the Lord, practicing everything. The Bible said, and they had no child. This is what I saw. I thought this should have discouraged them. There is no believer who has been doing something for the Lord and you have no result that you wanted that you will not feel discouraged at any time. It happens to everybody. Lord, you asked me to pray. I did navigating the spirit. I prayed with my pastor seven hours. I've been in CCB for the past seven years. Some things are not shifting in my life. There is every tendency for you to be discouraged. Can, I, can you identify with that? Now, that discouragement will be seen in you withdrawing from your commitment. Hmm. Come on, encourage me. After I've tried it, it didn't work. I beg, I know they do. Maybe they are lying to me. I'm reading somebody like me. This is what the Lord gave to me. To Nevertheless. Maybe I'm going to church too much. That's why I failed. So you see somebody who is committed, start reducing their commitment. I know what I'm talking about. Commander, this is the reality that comes to everybody. You tempted to take it easy. Mm -hmm. Especially when you notice you don't deserve what you're experiencing. Tie it to be. You do everything that they help you to do. And yet, God forbid, you have a challenge in your life. But let me show you what I saw, what I'm using this story this morning. I don't know who you are. The Lord sent me to you. That plus all you've been doing, stick do this one thing. You said the one that. But they had no child. Now, verse number eight. I taught Elizabeth and her husband would decide to stop their commitment. But what? So it was. Rather than stopping his office as a priest, that while he was serving, that's what I needed, as priest before God, in the order of his division. In other words, while he was doing what he was used to doing, how many of you will have a need and you are still doing what you are doing before? You thank you, you know. How many of you will be in a critical condition and you will not relate your commitment for at least for a moment? I place a secret in your hand. Zechariah and uh, Elizabeth, even though they had a delay, they practiced a revelation. The guy kept on serving. Plus the righteousness, plus the blamelessness, blamelessness, whatever. He kept on serving as his custom words. So it was, why he was, don't stop doing what you are doing, even if you have not seen results in your life. So it was, while he was serving, has proved before the God, in the order of his division, verse number nine, my God, according to the custom of the priesthood, is it getting clearer? He was a prayer leader. He was still leading prayers. He didn't delegate prayer. No, I don't delegate prayer before you now join church. I don't see result. Continue. No, according to the custom of the priesthood, his Lord fell, this is the description, JG now, to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. So he kept at it. Tell your neighbor, keep on serving. Oh my God, you can't go wrong serving the Lord. Even if you have not seen your result yet, I want to show you this morning how still worship, how serving God can provoke power that can end any kind of struggle in any man's life. I'm telling you the truth. Please sit down. I promise to be brief. He kept at it. He went back to lead prayers. He was still doing what he knows to do. He kept on serving. When he went into the temple, verse number 10, what now happened quickly, guys? And the whole multitude of the people was spread outside of the hour of incense. Verse number 11, glory to God. Glory to God. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing, watch this, on the right side of the altar where the guy was offering incense unto God. So in the place of tea worship, tea worship, the supernatural was provoked on his behalf. What if he has stopped doing what God had told him to do? This intervention will never be the reality. Am I Augusta, please don't let anything bounce you off. For those of us who have been serving, if you have not started serving, you are not going to enjoy your life. In other words, the angel of the Lord appeared to be standing on the right side of the altar of the incense. Verse 12. What did the angel say? And when Zechariah saw him, he was troubled and fear fell upon him. Verse 13. And I run quickly. Look at what they say. But the angel of the Lord said to him, Do not be afraid, man of God, for your prayer is heard. He has been praying before. He continued praying. And your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son. And you shall call his name John. Lift up your two and say, Father, give me understanding this morning. Well, let's run. Serve God with your life. Serve him, please. If you want to terminate 
certain struggles in your life. Exodus chapter 23 quickly. You must nevertheless find a place in your life to make serving God a cardinal part of your existence. Keep at it. No, don't stop. Brothers, I don't know who you are. Keep at it. If you are in choir before, don't, don't take a vacation from choir department. I know why God has asked me to teach this. A lot of us are guilty. And you don't know that plus everything. You are a tighter. I know. But tightening alone may not be all that you needed to do. It's a combination of factors in the kingdom of God. Plus your service. Please sit down, guys. Exodus 23, 25. He kept at it. He was never discouraged. He didn't allow the opinion of any man to bounce him off. He made out time for the Lord. He kept on serving. Exodus 23, 25. So you shall serve. I was asking a question. Why will God be asking us to serve him before he bless us? Come on. Think with me. So you shall serve the Lord your God and he will bless. Why will God ask me to serve before he bless? Think it. Sell it in your mind. Please pay attention to pastor. Look at the Bible. I'm not teaching from my head. So you shall serve the Lord your God, and He will bless your bread. Why will God demand service before He blesses? Come on, this is a law of the Spirit. You can't end certain struggles in your life until you engage the nevertheless of kingdom service. Can I escape serving God in this kingdom? It's not possible. This is what everybody. Even Papa Deboye is still serving. Bishop Boydeko is still serving. Bishop, Archbishop Margaret Dowsa at over 80, she's still serving. Who told you that God can bless you without still worship? We missed it. That's why certain things are not shifting. I was, I was probing this verse. Why will you demand still worship before you bless? You can bless me without serving. Say, no, it's not Bracadabra. You, not me, shall serve. Your duty is to serve. My duty is to bless. So, until you serve, I can't bless. I'm not talking about spiritual blessings. In the kingdom, this is the nevertheless. Remember my, my preamble? This is the word. It's a law. I wish you can do. I don't like to do evangelism, but I must serve. I don't like to join sanctuary department. If that's what I must serve. Nobody likes it. It's like a rocking tablet. But God says, you shall serve. And I shall, I will bless you. Now watch what God will bless. You can't bless yourself. God does the blessing. Your duty is just to serve. He's the one that blesses. He will bless your bread and your water too. Watch what you are losing. I will take sickness away from them. You can end poverty. You can end barrenness. You can end through serving. Power for a struggle for your life. I know why many people are struggling. Guess what? You are now using the prime years of your life to serve Babylon. And you are thinking serving God is negotiable. 35 years. You go in the morning, 8 o'clock. You close by 6 p.m. You run in for 28 days in the month. 28, right? 5 times 4. 20 days, Monday to Friday. You run it in a year. You work for 35 years. 60, 65, they dismiss you. They should go home. Now, you are not thinking that serving God is negotiable. No. It's a deception. Why is government not blessing you? Pay your salary without you serving. They call it servicom. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. It's a service. So until you, before you get that salary, you must put in your service. And you've got 35 years of serving the government. In the things of the spirit, God won't bless your bread and your water. He won't take sickness away from the midst of you. Verse 26, until you engage the nevertheless of serving. Nobody should be too big to serve. That is where I'm going as I close this morning. No one shall suffer miscarriage. So the struggle of miscarriage can be terminated through service. That's what I want to show you. I will be done. Sicknesses and diseases, listen to me, they can be likened to a health struggle that can be terminated with the law of steel. You can serve your way to healing. 
You can serve your way to fruitfulness. You can serve your way to open doors. You can serve your way to breakthrough. Because as you serve, heaven's ingredients are pouring forth on you. They are not, invis they are not physical things that can be seen. In the place of service, uh, there is a spiritual atmosphere that envelops you. That supply heaven's ingredients. Everything you need to make your life beautiful will be poured forth onto you. Where you are serving. Am I dropping good today? Don't call those who are serving stupid. We caught a revelation. Power for a struggle for living. You will struggle the rest of your life if you don't serve God. It's not a cause. It's a law. So, you see, money will fail. Only the kingdom stands forever. There are things money can do. Only the supernatural that can provoke it. And you, this is one of the ways. No one shall suffer miscarriage or, or be barren. You have been getting pregnant or you are suffering miscarriage. This is the cure. You have not even conceived at all. Or you are banned. This is the key. I will fulfill the number of your day. We call it longevity. You don't kiss somebody who serves God prematurely. No. 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 You are too precious to be wasted. Because you are too useful to God to be less to God. Watch those who are redundant with God. Listen to me. Should I say this? Figure it out. They don't enjoy longevity because they are not into maximum use by God. It's not servicing their health because they are useless to the kingdom. I'm sorry, not abusive, useless. We have explained the word useless, not an abusive word, use plus less. It means that you are not of maximum utilization, you are useless. And you're wondering why all kind of arthritis. What kind of pain in your head? You are useless. I was telling somebody, Pastor, don't you have feelings? I said, What do you mean? I'm feeling I'm not feeling fine. I said, eh? I have been on this stage with all kind of things. None of you have ever noticed when Pastor. I will be on this stage. What what I'm dealing with, I can't explain, and I'm still imparting grace. And you're now having one female thing. What's female thing? I know they come church. I said, come on for my face. Serve. That's what I'm preaching. Sit down. We'll close in a few minutes. Tell your number it's time to serve. People don't understand the power of sea worship. How to break and end struggles. You are serving and they, until you stand up. Nobody service catch you. Make you the guy catch you. She left choir department to my protocol department. Before I realized one tall girl and one tall brother just serving in protocol department. So as they are both serving, they were hearing the voice of the father. You don't understand what we are talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Because in the place of service, just anything can. Please have your seat. Some of you don't know why the guy knows they see you. You know they serve you. you know? There are no brothers in that job. Bro, are you blind? See brothers. But you are not serving. Nobody see you. You are hiding one corner. Who will see you? You don't know what you are missing. Babes, better go and find a department to serve. Brothers are looking. You know how many, how many brother wants to marry all my babes in choir? Just be careful, baby. Tell anybody you got to serve. Oh, do like this. Serve. Oh, make you serve. Hallelujah. Are you blessed this morning? It's not because I'm too big. It's just the law. I wish you could debate it. But God said, no, Emmanuel, you are not the one that wrote the Bible. You just have to, nevertheless, Tell him about find a place to serve. Encourage me by saying, no matter what, try and find a place of stay worship. Because you will provoke power to terminate certain struggles in you. I don't know what it is you are dealing with. Of course, you know our story. Let me not waste your time. I met this baby in the place of service. I was a pastor on campus. While I'm standing before I'm preaching the word, she's sitting on this side. I'm preaching this way. I'm looking this way. I'm looking this way. I'm looking this way. I will not talk like this. Do you understand what I'm teaching? Is it clear to you? I'm looking at one girl. Is it, do you understand? She didn't know I was pointing at her. Please have your Hey! And while I was preaching, she was nodding her, nodding her head. This guy makes, is making sense. Mm -hmm. Little Greek. Hallelujah. I pray for us today. We will not be too busy to serve the Lord. 
Job 36 verse 11. It's a joyful thing. Get excited about it. It doesn't reduce your, your, your portfolio, does it? A medical doctor, will, it, will, it, will he reduce it to a janitor? No, it doesn't change my profile. I don't mind cleaning the church every day. It doesn't change my state. Of, you are MD, you are MD. There is nothing devil go do about time. So it doesn't reduce you. So let the devil, he wants us to miss the blessing. I don't like that child. Kingdom service is for, how can they be bailing water? I, we don't like to bail water. You bail the water with joy. Because that is what happened. We just had to take care of your father's house. My, my hand is still neat. I don't like septic practices. You know what they call septic? Dirty, unhygienic practice. I say, yeah. Cleaning church is not septic practice. Anyway, God will slap your mouth. You don't do that. Septic practices are unhygienic practices. A septic is the hygienic one. Praise God. Tell anybody it's time to serve. Again, let's look at this connection as we close. Don't run away. Especially those of you now that are big. Please, without any apology. I mean, misunderstanding. Please, don't be too big to serve. Mm -hmm. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in what? Look at it. Now, why we God connect service to prosperity? I'm closing my message. Jephthah, if they obey, that's one part of the equation. And two, and serve him. They shall spend their days in where in prosperity and their year. Do you need anything clearer than these, my brothers and sisters in the law? Sir. Pastor, I will answer your question. My schedule is too tight. Not that I don't want to sir, but I do two weeks offshore. I hear. I do two weeks. Down shore, whatever shore, the, whether whatever shore, let me tell you what to do. If you don't have the physical time to serve, I close with this one you can serve with your money. I want to close, you can't escape. Uh, I do every Saturday. I go to I work in Chevron where my boss needs my attention every Saturday and Sunday. I'm an hotel, hotel manager. I'm too busy. No wala. English understood now. Your money can serve. God will take it. In fact, the ultimate thing I want to preach is this one, not that one. Money. Serving God. With your money. I was telling somebody as yoga. Uh, uh, your strategy is becoming too pronounced. You are just plugging seed. You are pushing me to do evangelism. You, you are just collecting my grace. Collecting my grace. He uh, didn't tell me, but I know what he's practicing. It may be quite busy, but his resources are flowing. And it's the same thing. I call it the tea of time and the tea of treasures. There are four teas I won't cover all. The tea of your time, the tea of your treasures, the tea of your, um, of your talents, and the tea of your thoughts. Thoughts. Let's leave the other two. Let's close with the tea of treasures. I know. Augusta, I can't do evangelism. How much is the boss mobilization every Sunday? 500,000. Once you draw 500k, you have served. It's better than those who came. If all of you will tell me today, Pastor, carry your evangelism. We're not going to join you, but we'll be giving you five, ten, ten million every week. Yours sincerely. I'm not going to let you be. Kessin thing. Just bless me every Sunday because I know what to do with ten million. How many buses we need to turn this city upside for Jesus? If you don't have the tea of time, of course, there should be nothing like anything like you don't have the tea of time. But I'm saying, in case your schedule, please don't misunderstand this message. Let's close. There is the tea of treasures. You got to serve with your mother. Now, you are going to be a problem to yourself when you don't have the tea of time and you don't have the tea of treasure. So your case is closed. Stand to your feet, everybody. Your case is finished. You got to serve with your money. Your money must be involved in kingdom agenda to provoke heaven's favor in your life. 
Tell your neighbor it's time to serve. For the tea of time. Now let me help you. Pastor, I don't have the tea of treasures now. Charles, banking sector will not allow me. No big deal. But will you use your money to serve the interest of the kingdom? What did it for me while I was preparing is your money. God wants every one of us. Whatever we explain it to be. Whether we have the time. Don't tell me you have time and you don't have money. Some of us feel that we have time. So we don't sow seeds. All are required in order to provoke the power to terminate any struggle in our life. Primarily today, your resources. Let your money be involved in the kingdom of God. A man by the name Solomon in 1st Kings chapter 3 understood the place of serving God with his treasures and he provoked open heaven. Financial struggle, any kind of struggle can be terminated through service. Then breaking stewardship down, we cover the teal of time. I want to close on the teal of treasures which is your money. In 1st Kings chapter 3 verse 3, a man by the name Solomon understood how to invest in the kingdom. And when he did, he turned it down. He provoked open heaven over his life. There are people here, don't misunderstand this teaching, sir. I'm not going to give the time I get. No. I both have the treasure and I also have the time. I have the tea of thinking. I have the tea of talent. Everything you think about, you had them together. But let's throw in today. God wants you to serve. Meanwhile, verse 3, 2 Kings chapter 3 and verse number 3. And Solomon loved the Lord, walking in the status of his father David, except that he sacrificed and burned incense at the high place. Run. Now the king went to Gibeon to sacrifice there. For that was the great high place. Watch this. Solomon offered out of his own personal belonging or treasures, a thousand burnt offerings on that altar to the Lord. Power for a struggle for your life. Trust your worship. I can't imagine somebody here this morning you are not doing any of these things. And for those of you who have the time, God is sent to tell you it's time to also give your treasures. Now, the king went to Gibeon to sacrifice. He burnt a thousand burnt offering on the altar. Look at verse number five. Finally, at Gibeon, what happened? The Lord appeared to Emmanuel, to Solomon, in a dream by night. And God said, Ask what shall I have given to you. That was the beginning of the unusual prosperity in the life of Solomon. He served God with his money. And he provoked an open heaven upon his life. Are you here this morning? You have been struggling for so long. Could you engage the nevertheless of service? Try this. No, don't try to do it. You see the wonders of God manifesting in your life. I pray for somebody today. The grace to invest in the kingdom. Let it be delivered unto you. I said the grace to invest in the kingdom. Let it be delivered this morning. I said, the grace to make the kingdom of God your ultimate priority. Let it be imparted unto you today. Amen. Look at this. Matthew 6, 33, as we close. Please, do it with all that you have. For those of you that have the time, praise God. You have the treasure, praise God. You have the thinking, your thought, praise God. You have the everything you have. None will go unrewarded. I walked into the church and I realized a lot of our brothers and sisters have stopped giving. Is it that they don't have the money? And God said to me, not that they don't have. They have not been able to connect how their treasures can provoke power to terminate struggles in their lives. And that's what I'm teaching today. Especially financial struggles. Nobody ends financial struggle without sowing financial seeds. That is where I'm closing. The greatest struggle I want you to end today is financial struggle. Power for a financial struggle-free life 
is possible when you understand how to invest your treasures in the kingdom of God. But seek for the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. What are the, these things? All the things that the Gentiles are seeking after. May the Lord grant you wisdom. Two more scriptures and we're going to pray. Are you blessed this morning? I pray for you. Please, let it be said. Nobody ends financial affliction without sowing financial treasures. And let me say this, sir. Not once and forever. It is once and again. As God blesses you, you keep on sowing. We are doing a remodeling in our church, for instance. I don't see a reason why this church can't finish a remodeling in one month. With the blessings of God upon our lives. If we are thinking about the kingdom. The book, we did analysis on Sunday after service and we discovered a higher percentage of the financial commitment coming is coming from a sect of persons. Please name with head. It shouldn't be so. If you think it is so, there are the people that will be enjoying the blessings. You will be missing. You come to a church, you don't sow seeds. You look around, you like everything, but you are not a part of it. No problem. It will still be done, but you will have missed the blessings. A remodeling is going on. I mean, serious remodeling, I told you before. But what will it be for you to be a part of it? Let your treasure so that you can provoke the blessings of God. Psalm 35 and verse 27 to 28. 27. Receive grace this morning to give your best to God. Your treasure. Say amen. amen. Say my money will not have me. No, say my money will not have me. I will have my money. In Psalm 35, let them shout for joy. Watch this. I'm glad. Who favor, pay attention to that, my righteous cause. Ladies and gentlemen, the people that will enjoy heaven's prosperity are the people that will favor his righteous cause. Go and write it. Let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his service. Psalm 102 and verse 14. Then one more and I will be fine. Look at this. Keep at it. Don't stop. Let others be thinking you are stupid. How can you be giving all your money to God? You are not giving it to a pastor. You are giving it to God. How can you be giving all your resources to God? You are not giving your resources to any man. You are giving it to God. And there is a mystery about giving that contaminate any frustration. For your servants, no, back up to 13. Let's connect 13 and 14 so that you can know how to enjoy favor. I'm done. Proverbs chapter 11. Are you there? You will arise and have mercy on Zion for the time to favor her. Yes, the said time has come. 14 and says, for your servants, take pleasure in the stones of Zion. And your servants show favor to the dust of Zion. Anybody who makes the kingdom agenda a priority, you don't lack favor or you don't lack prosperity. I pray for you today. Lift up your two hands to heaven and say this word after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pledge my allegiance to serve you with my time and with my treasures. I don't know who you are this morning. I just want to pray for you. I'm not making another call. I'll just take a general call and I will let you go. The Lord sent me to announce to somebody that the struggles you are experiencing right now is because you've not engaged the nevertheless of the world of kingdom service. Please everybody rise. Oh, thank you, Lord. Look at me, everybody. Please rise. I've told them to send in this testimony. You know what? A woman said to her, she's moved, she, then you can now. That's success wife. You know what he said? While my husband was still in Ireland, they are there, and, I mean, while the guy was there, or still there, she told God, Dr. B, help me with the story. Three things she was believing God for. She connected these three things to stewardship in this church. She said, she made, she, God told her 
that if she's going to get answers to these three things, this is what God wants her to do. God wants her to join sanctuary department and she keeps serving. Her husband is in Ireland. She has three kids. She's in Nigeria. But she was believing God for three major testimonies. And the only thing God told her this woman to do is to connect answers to those things, to join in the sanctuary department. You were there when she was sharing the testimony. I was not there. Mrs. Success said, Pastor, everything I connected my stewardship to, they will all happen. They are living in Ireland now, to the glory of God. I mean, happily settled. In fact, why the husband came to pick the family, said she applied for her, his wife. The wife has gotten a job while she was civil still in Nigeria. So as soon as she got over there, she resumed a job, started her life afresh. But while she was here, the only department she was serving, you can see her inquire, she was in sanctuary cleaning the church. I didn't know she has a covenant with God. What are you looking for? What are you trusting God for? You can make a, as I pray this morning, a personal decision between you and God. Lord, let this affliction die as I serve. Lift up your two hands. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I commit myself today to the affairs of your kingdom. And let power be provoked that we end any struggle in my life. Raise your voice and pray that prayer in two minutes as we show them. Lord, we are so grateful. Make a personal decision with God. It's not a jumping one. I wanted to pray by yourself. Lord, I will serve. I will serve you with my time. I will serve you with my seed. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, oh my God. I'm seeing ladies this morning. Do you want to turn things around in your life? Get a seed, a treasure that you can put on the altar of the kingdom of God to turn things around in your favor. Just get personal with God. Is it the time of tea or the time of treasure? Or the combination of the two. Lord, we are so grateful for this word of encouragement. Let this minister life to everyone and let these struggles be over. Lift up your right hand and say to me, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I receive your word this morning. And with the whole of my heart, I believe that Jesus, that Jesus is the Lord, is the Lord and the Savior of my soul. Of my from, soul. from today, from today I, make up my mind I make up my mind to live for you to live and, for you. and to serve you to all the days of my life. So shall it be. Now I bless the church this morning. I receive. As you plug into the nevertheless of service, let power be provoked. Amen. Whatever is a trace of any kind of struggle in your life, let it be terminated today. Amen. Who oh, can I? Can I hear me tear the roof? Amen. Deep message. Maybe you've never thought of it. My goodness. Oh, lift it over your head. Why do we have young people who are building bricks for Satan and they are useless in the kingdom of God? No. Lord, we pledge our allegiance today that we're going to serve you. We will serve you with our time of tea our tea of our time and the tea of our treasure and as you go let wonders manifest in the name of the father in the name of the son in the name of the holy spirit let's receive dr b this morning can we celebrate the lord can we celebrate the lord i want you to clap and scream let me hear your scream of thanksgiving to the lord hallelujah hallelujah Pastor, thank you so much for the word. We are blessed. We are lifted. The prophecies of our lives are working wonders in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we tell Pastor how much we love him? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As a close service, we want to quickly take our tithe and our offering. You may please be seated. If you are a tither and you want to pay your tithe this morning, I would like you to quickly come forward. Hallelujah. Quickly come forward. Thank you. Thank you. In Sister Big Global, we believe in the tithe. It's 10% of what God has given to you. And it is actually a command from God, not even a suggestion. So if you're committed to God, you are supposed to be part of paying your tithe. Hallelujah. Church, can we stretch for our hands towards every tither? I pray that God gives you the revelation of tithing in the name of Jesus. When I'm pregnant, I come out and pay tithe for the baby every single Sunday. Lift up your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up every tither. 
I will present them before your throne of grace and mercy this morning. I declare that your life will never be tight in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is the least you will ever give in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare that the Lord will open to you his floodgates and pour you out so much blessing that you will not have enough room to contain it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Those who laughed, uh, laughed at you will come and rejoice with you because of God's blessing that is evident in your life. Amen. So shall it be Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Cast your tithe. Hallelujah. And I want everyone to package an offering to the Lord and begin to speak a word over it. Never come to church without bringing something as an offering. Right from Monday, begin to plan your offering so that you don't spend it on soft drinks and co. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Begin to speak a word over that offering. Begin to speak a word over it. Come on, give it an assignment. It's going to obey you. God's word, remember God's word in your mouth is as powerful as God's word in God's mouth. So you can speak those words. God wants you to speak the words into that offering. Say so it's delivering to me. Pastor talked about prosperity, about flourishing. As I give this offering, I am flourishing on every side, not just on one side, every side, financially, maritally, upon my children, upon the works of my hands, over my future. Lord, I am flourishing on every side because I am a giver to your kingdom. You might want to repackage and give something, give God an offering that is worthy of him. You're not just giving an offering, you're actually honoring the Lord with that offering. Now raise up your offering to the Lord. Rise up on your feet because we're going to dance to him. PWT, please don't boot for me today. Lift up that offering. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare over everyone, presenting an offering just to honor your name in your house. I declare over you that your heavens are open in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare that your roads will never be blocked again. Amen. God has opened to you the double doors. Therefore, let them remain flung open concerning you in the name of Jesus. Every blessing that the enemy snatched away from you right now, let there be a restoration. Let there be a restoration. Encounter light. Let the Lord give you light in every area. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Scream hallelujah. 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 Come and give the Lord a little shout of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your hands together like this, everybody. Come on. When you see me praise, I praise the Queen of When you see me praise, I praise the Queen of When you see me praise, I praise the Queen of When you see me praise, I praise the See me shouts, I shout like a winner, man. No,
Lord. Come on, give him praise. Let your heart still remain open because God is still depositing blessings over you. The blessings have not stopped. During the worship it came, during the word it came. And even at the close, and the blessing of the Lord is resting upon you. Wave those hands to him because you are grateful. Oh Lord, we are a grateful people. We are a grateful church. This is a grateful house, oh Lord. We bless you all in name in the name of Jesus. I declare that this week. God will open strange doors for you. Amen. This week, God will open unusual doors for Amen. you. I see doors this week. God is opening that door for you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. This week, doors that have been shut by the by demonic oppression, doors that have been shut and fastened that would, that the enemy has said will never open to you. Let them open to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Under this terrific atmosphere, I declare that those doors are open to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Marital doors are open to you. Amen. Fertility doors are open to you. Amen. Therefore, you'll be married. Amen. And God will do it speedily. Amen. Therefore, you will carry your babies. Amen. And God will do it speedily. Amen. Minds that have been blocked of ideas. You just can't comprehend a good idea. You just don't know what to do next. Because a grace has been released over our man of God. And that is the grace of knowing what to do. Let that grace rest upon you. Amen. Let it man know upon you. Amen. From now on, you know what to do. Amen. You walk in divine wisdom. Amen. You walk in accuracy. Amen. The enemy has said that you walk in errors. He has ensured that mistake will be made around you. Right now, we cancel such in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Such intentions of darkness, Amen. imaginations of hell against you to cause you to walk in error, making the wrong choices. Right now, we, call, we shut it down in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everyone under the sound of my voice, that the enemy has plagued you with the plague of making poor choices in life. Right now, we shut down that plague in the name of Jesus. Amen. We put an end to it. Amen. Receive your freedom in the name of Jesus. Amen. Therefore, by reason of this prayer today, from this day forward, you begin to walk in divine accuracy. Amen. Whether you turn to the left or to the right, you will hear a voice behind you, the voice of the Spirit. You will hear the sound of the mulberry trees. Amen. You will hear accurately that word saying, this is the way. Walk Amen. in it. So Amen. shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can you shout about it and scream about Hallelujah. it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we take our closing charge in God's presence. Hallelujah. Isaiah 50 and verse 7. Let me tell your neighbor. I'm glad you're sitting next to me. Glad you're sitting because next because to you are me. sitting next to a miracle. Next, to, next a miracle. to a miracle. Media, I got your message, but give it to me. Isaiah 50 and verse 7. Hallelujah. We are going to say our closing charge. You are going to say it with so much attitude and emotion from your heart. Because we don't want to say it as a cliche. But we are going to say it as something that is definite. Are we ready, church? Now I want to go. For the Lord God will, will help me. me. Therefore shall, shall I not be confounded. confounded. Therefore have I, I said, said my face like a flame. And, and I, I know, know that I, I will not be ashamed. Tell the, uh, your neighbor, all nations, all nations shall see and know see that, that we are a people blessed by the Lord and helped by the Lord. God bless you while the choir.